chest burn. Take a knee on this one. All right. So normally I can do 10 minutes of those. I'm, I don't think I did a minute and a half. <sighs> normally I can do 150, 200 push-ups a day. And that's like in 50, increments of 50. I'm not even touching 18 push-ups. And I'm not even doing 50 push-ups a day. So, post-COVID, oh, post-COVID, it's a challenge. The lungs are burning. And uh, that's a challenge with COVID. And recovery, it's your lungs it burns. I don't have the same lung capacity I used to have. Now, I did work out yesterday. And we get, and when I did get some, some, I say what's up? Say hi, Chen. Yeah, I'm fine. Tell him you're fine. He just wants to play. So, as far as day 23, this is day 23. I'm surviving COVID, living with COVID. And I'm getting my workout on because I want to donate blood. And so, my guess is I'll be donating blood. I'm trying to do it next week or the following. How you feel? I feel good, sir. You feel good? Yeah. Awesome. Ah! One of the challenges with this COVID-19 has to do with your lungs. And so I got 20 something pounds and uh, I have this air intake mask. So when I breathe, it forces me to breathe harder so I can get more um, air in my lungs. So one of the things with COVID-19 when you're trying to recover is dealing with the issue of air, you know, lungs capacity. So I need to increase my lung capacity and I also need to um, make sure that, you know, I don't blood clot because the other, the other challenge is blood clotting and, um, you know, aneurysms, uh, people can get heart attacks. Um, there's a lot, there's a list of stuff, um, you know, fluid in your lungs. So one of the ways to prevent, um, or reduce high blood pressure or blood clotting is to run, walk. Um, and after this, I'm gonna take a baby aspirin. And so that way I make sure that, you know, I don't put myself in danger.